In this session, we're going to look at one of the Wedic methods for multiplying numbers together, called Nikolam multiplication. And this is used for multiplying two numbers together which are close to a power of 10, such as 10 or 100 or 1000. The name Nikolam will be explained uh, a little later. But we'll start with a very simple example so that you can see the basic method. And here we have 8 times 7. Relating both of these numbers to the base 10, we see that 8 is deficient by 2, so we put minus 2, and 7 is deficient by 3, uh, minus 3. It doesn't mean 8 take away 2, it actually means that 8 is less than 10 by 2. The answer comes in two parts, a right-hand part and a left-hand part. For the right, we multiply the two uh, deficiencies together, two threes are 6. And for the left, there are one of four methods to get the answer digit here. The first is to cross subtract 8 take away 3, and that gives 5. The second is to cross subtract the other way, 7 minus 2, that also gives 5. In practice, most people use the cross subtraction method to obtain that digit. But the two other methods are these. You could take the base 10 and subtract the two deficiencies, 10, 10 take away 2 take away 3 leaves 5. Or you can add the two numbers to be multiplied, 8 plus 7 gives 15, and then take away the base 10, leaving 5. And the cross-subtraction method uh, uh, here is uh, actually the origin of the multiplication symbol, because this method is not new, it was known hundreds of years ago. Now, of course, most people know that 8 times 7 is 56, but uh, we'll take... Uh, Another example, which is a bit more impressive, which is 98 times 96. And it's a very easy method. Here the base is 100, and we are going to relate these two numbers to 100. 98 is less by 2. We put 0, 2, and the two digits here follow the fact that 100 has two zeros. And the deficiency for 96 is 4. Again, uh, the answer comes in two parts, a right hand and a left hand. And for the right, we multiply the two deficiencies together. Uh, so 2, 4, zero, 0, 8. And then cross subtract, 98 take away 4 is 94. Uh, we could use the other, other way, 96 take away 2, just to check. And sure enough, we get to the answer, 9,408. Now, one other... A uh, little further development here, if I take the example uh, 70, uh, 79 multiplied by 91, the product on the right is going to have more than two digits, as we'll see in a moment. The deficiency here is 21, and here is 0, 09. And we've got to find 9 times 21. Well, we can do that digit by digit. 9 ones are 9 and 9 twos are 18, so that's an 8, with a 1 to carry over to the left. And now we can cross subtract, 79 take away 9, or 21, uh, 91 take away 21, leave 70, add in the carry 1, and we've got 71. So that's what to do in that case. But this is a special method, um, and if the, uh, if the numbers are sufficiently far away from the base, then the multiplication on the right becomes awkward. Here's another example, 65 times 35. Let's have a look and see what happens here. Because the deficiencies are 35 and 65. And now, for the right-hand part, we have to multiply 35 and 65, which is exactly what we started with, and so there's no advantage to this system here. We just need one of the numbers to be close to the uh, base. Let's have a look at this, 23 multiplied by 97. Here the deficiency is 77, and here is 0, 3. And 3 7s are 21. Again, 21 add this carry 2 gives 23 for the next step. And then cross subtract 23 take away 3 leaves 20, add in the carry 2, and the answer is 2 2 3 1, which is which is great. Now the um, the the sutra or the rule, uh, the nikilam it's called, is short for nikilam navatash charaman dashata. 
Uh, that's the Sanskrit, and it means all from nine and the last from ten. And the reason this method of multiplication is named after that is because this rule gives us the complement or the deficiency in every case. So if we have, for example, 84, and we take all the digits away from 9, but the last one from 10, well, there's only one digit here to take away from 9. So 8 from 9 is 1, and the last from 10 is 6. Well, that gives the deficiency from 100, and we can easily check this just by adding. Again, if you take a larger number, like 874, and apply the rule, all from 9 and the last from 10, here we get 1, 2, and the last from 10, 6. So 126 is the complement, or the deficiency, of 874 from 1,000. And we can check this by adding. 4 add 6 is 10, 7 add 2 add 1 is 10, 8 add 1 add 1 makes 10. So, going back to the uh, process now, here are some for you to practice. And once you've got those, here are the answers. And it's a very quick method, very fast system for multiplying numbers. And we can take it to uh, higher bases as well. For example, um, uh, 9783 multiplied by 9998. Looks very nasty, but using this method, it's really quite simple. All from 9 and the last from 10 gives 0, 2, 1, 7. And here we get 0, 0, 0, 2. So now we just multiply on the right, two sevens are 14, two ones are two, add one is three, there's four and a zero, and now we can cross subtract. We can go either way, nine, 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 eight, take away 217, or nine, seven, eight, three, take away two. Well, I think I prefer that way. And so we get nine, seven, eight, one. And uh, we can also use the same method for multiplying numbers which are a little bit above the base. And in the next session, I will show how to do that.